Hello, good morning. It is Saturday. I woke up pretty late, around 11.30, and today is actually a surprisingly cool day in all different areas. Usually I have four places on my phone when I check my weather. I check Santa Isabel, I check Campo, I check Del Mar, and then I check around here. And it's basically all around 70s. So even though I normally like to hike when it's sunny because it just makes it so much more beautiful, I've been <laughs> planning on hiking and I think I usually prefer to hike on Saturday rather than Sunday. I'm just gonna go today. Plus I'm hoping maybe if it's cloudy, there will be less people who knows what people wanna do. I conveniently received something this morning and it's something that I could take with me hiking and maybe try to indulge in a little bit. So I was surprised this came with it because it just didn't look like it would be in the package, but I ordered a spare jump rope cable because the one I've been using at work has been grinded down because I'm using it on concrete and the cables are starting to um, fray and it's kind of dangerous. So I bought another one. I actually bought another one that's thicker that is supposed to be longer lasting on concrete, mainly because I lost a screw yesterday while I was jumping at work because I hand tightened it. I was kind of stupid about it. The screw right here flew off while I was jumping. And then once that's gone, I can't jump rope anymore based on the design of this. I don't have the handles here, they're at work, but this kind of sucks because I didn't realize that this extra cable came with this screw. So when I lost it yesterday, I was like, oh man, now I need to buy a screw. And I didn't want to pay $2 for shipping for a 50 cent product. So I bought the thicker jump rope cable and it's whatever, I guess. Um, this one I can always use eventually. This was $8 though. And if I'm mostly going to be jump roping outside, I would never really buy this one. Nice pink cable though. All right, so this is what I was talking about. Okay. So I actually have not been reading at all. I will admit that reading has always been a hobby that I would like to be into, but the issue with that is when I'm home, there are other hobbies that would always trump reading. So that's gaming and that's watching a movie. There were times where I was like, oh, if I watch one new movie today, then I can definitely spend time reading. But it's just difficult because my attention span for reading isn't always there. I think also at the time I was choosing to read books that I didn't ultimately have interest in. So I do still have some Poirot books that I really think I would enjoy and I actually might just bring those to Utah with me. But this book, I like reading books about people that are famous that I generally respect because I like to learn more about them. I also like when people are honest and real and they talk about their problems instead of just like, oh, my life being famous and rich and glamorous and all that. So she is actually, or was, I'm not sure if it's current, but she was the highest paid model in the world for a while. And she is also married to Tom Brady. She's just really up there. And she's just someone that you would expect to have, you know, the best life ever. So it was interesting to hear about these things when she was promoting the book. And I decided, I think I would find it really interesting to read about her because she has always came across as someone that has a really fun personality. She seems like she has a great sense of humor anytime I've seen her. So I had the interest to read more about her and learn about her. I'm kind of glad that this arrived before I left because something that I never do when I hike is just sit and chill. I never do that when I hike. So anytime in the past when I've passed by someone just lying on a rock, staring up at the sky, I would feel kind of weird about it because I just can't do that. So I was hoping today that I can sit for a little while and read. This is gonna be a fast read. The freaking text is so large. Look at this. The text is huge, but that's okay. Okay, ow, oh, one more thing. I wanna show you guys my oatmeal. So funny, always just smiling up at me. 
Hey, you can't sniff my breakfast. Who do you think you are? All right, in my last video, <laughs> I talked about everything I bought for my groceries, right? So this is what I've been making for breakfast overnight. And I have actually been liking it. The first night, it was a little bit weird because I forgot bananas at first. I probably didn't put enough peanut butter, so without those two, it's definitely very bland. Goodness. So in here, I have oats, almonds, pecans, banana, raspberry, and peanut butter. And chia seeds. And I have really been liking it. And I really do like the fact that it is ready to eat in the morning. So before I head out, I'm going to eat some of this. My main concern sometimes with eating oatmeal before I hike though, is that I digest really fast. I haven't confirmed yet whether my poop within an hour is actually my oatmeal, but sometimes it really feels like it is because I don't eat a lot of stuff the night before. So I cannot imagine that my digestion is that slow. Sorry for talking about poop and digesting within an hour. I know that sounds crazy fast, but I really do feel like it might just be it. My goodness, it's Sammy. I don't know where Milo is. Making her pose for a picture. <laughs> you know, even though it's cloudy today and I was a little hesitant about coming here, I'm really glad I did because it's really nice and cool and I still really love everything without sunlight. Don't need sunlight always. Break. Good. Whoa. Hello, pups. All right, let's go. Every time I do this hike, I really like this random inside area that I don't really think us hikers have access to, but just seeing that level of bright green amongst a lot of darker, duller colors around it just always looks really nice. I feel like it's lively. It makes you feel a little lively in a sense. Just generally when I'm hiking, I try to pay attention to surroundings. I try to pick things that I really enjoy, that maybe fascinate me. And every time I pass this one, I just really like seeing that green. Are you getting impatient with me? I've been trying to stop a little more to pay attention to things stand and stare when I feel like it, like the highway. Kind of wanted to take a look at it for a while and just watch because sometimes I feel like when you're out here and kind of looking at a vast amount of landscape, you kind of feel peace, kind of. Like it's a calming feeling, just staring out there and looking at it. And I think maybe for me, it just, it feels really nice to be in this position because I'm not often out here. Sometimes I really wished I was able to do it more often without it being such a long trip. It takes an hour to get out here. So when I am here, it just feels really different. She's so funny. Yeah, I was sitting here for a while reading and it was nice and peaceful. Then I heard some music behind me and I was like, oh, I'm coming across my first person. Sometimes when I'm out here and you guys know how much I don't like coming across people. Well, I don't understand those people that feel the need to make noise at Riley. So he stayed on the path. Riley was being kind of attentive. He just kept making noise at her, like, so, like barking. He would say woof. 
howl, he would like make pig noises, and it was kind of annoying, but by that point he was already kind of far, but I don't understand why people do that. I, I, I get that they probably do it so they can maybe retain the dog's attention or to get the dog's attention, but I just don't really like when people do that. Another photo obsession of this little one. <laughs> What a nice backdrop, isn't it? Ah, all right, I am done taking pictures for now. Hello. Hi. How are you? Good, how are you? Having a good day? Yes, what a beautiful horse. I like your dog, he's tired. Yes, she is. Need some water. Does she have enough water for him? Yeah, she just gets very distracted by the surroundings to so focus on drinking water. Hello. Hi. Good job. Mmm, that was a quick trip. I got my salad and my drink. I ran into both of the stores. <laughs> now I finally get to go home. Hey, I got my food and drink ready to go. Then we have the puppers ready to zone out. I expect her to sleep throughout the entire movie. Mm -hmm. He's naughty. All right, I am getting ready to enjoy my evening. 5.21. I hope everybody had a wonderful Saturday and also followed up with an awesome evening. Goodbye.